A new observation by the Earth-orbiting NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope has profound implications for the understanding of the earliest years of our universe. A team led by the astronomer Wolfram Freudling has revealed that the first stars in the universe were formed only 200 million years after the Big Bang, several hundred million years earlier than previously thought. The team used Hubble's infrared instrument, NICMOS, to observe light from some of the most distant, exotic and ultra-luminous sources known to mankind, quasi-stellar objects, sometimes known as quasars. Hubble's position above the atmosphere allows it to observe infrared light normally obscured by the Earth's atmosphere and unavailable to Earth-bound telescopes. Information about the very first generation of stars has been one of the universe's best-kept secrets. When the first stars ended their lives as supernovae, the explosions spread their ashes out into space. These ashes contained heavier elements such as oxygen, carbon, silicon and iron, processed in the nuclear furnaces at the star's centres. The astronomers used Hubble to discover substantial fractions of iron in three quasars. This is the first time that elements created purely in the first generation of stars have been found. The light from the quasars has travelled for 12.8 billion years before reaching Hubble. Iron is a good indicator of the evolutionary state of a quasar. This is because this element is not formed in the Big Bang, but later on in stars. In those stars, they have to form first, then they spend their fuel, and finally they explode. And only then can we detect the iron. And this process takes some time, maybe 500, maybe 800 million years. And that is the reason why we think the iron we detected now has been created in the very first generation of stars which formed soon after the Big Bang. Of course we had theories and clues about what happened in the early universe. But now we actually detect elements which we think have been created in the very first generation of stars. This new result allows astronomers to construct a revised timescale for the history of the universe. 13.7 billion years ago, the universe is created in the Big Bang, a cataclysmic, hot explosion-like event initially composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. As the gas cools, the universe becomes transparent and material starts to clump together. After 200 million years, the first generation of stars forms. 500 to 800 million years after their creation, these first stars explode as supernovae, dispersing elements, including iron, into the surroundings. These new observations also suggest that the first stars formed before the supermassive black holes that power the quasar engines in the centres of galaxies. This is the first major scientific result to emerge from the NICMOS instrument that was repaired during the last Hubble servicing mission in 2002. This servicing mission was the last successful mission of the Space Shuttle Columbia that was lost on the 1st of February 2003. The scientists respectfully dedicate this discovery to the memory of the crew of the Space Shuttle Columbia.